today I'm going to demonstrate how to make the canoe project so that when you guys go ahead and start doing it next week, or actually I think you start it on Friday, um, you'll kind of know what it's supposed to look like so you know what to do and it'll make it a little bit easier. So I've already printed out the template, so you want to make sure you print out that PDF and then this is what you're going to cut out and then you're going to trace it onto a brown piece of paper. Now I wanted to use a brown paper grocery bag because some of you guys probably won't have brown paper. I'm not sure if you did get your kits yet and if you got construction paper. So just in case, if you get your groceries um, from Amazon, which I do, you might have one of these bags or if you go to the grocery store or even if you do like online grocery ordering, you could ask your delivery person if they can get you paper for your groceries. Um, so just on the off chance you don't have brown paper, the other option would be to get a brown piece of paper and you can either paint it brown or you could use um, crayon to color it in afterward. So you wouldn't want to color it first, you would want to do it after. So let's use this template. I'm going to cut it out really quick first. I'm going to fold this in half. I think I lined it up. I know you guys probably can't tell that easily, but I'm looking through it and I can see that it's lined up. So I'm going to actually do it this way. If you hold it up to a light, you'll be able to see. I don't know if you guys can see it that easily here, but it's a little bit weird. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see that it matched up. Let's see if it was off. Oh, you can't see it that well. Okay, there it is. You can see that you can like see through it. So I made sure to line it up exactly. So now I'm going to finish cutting it out and it kind of saves me some time to cut. I wanted to show you guys how you can use this as your brown paper. So you can lay it out flat and trace the whole thing. And also, you're going to want to cut this and like maybe fold it up and just cut, trace this line in here and this line in here because you're going to want to cut it. But don't cut it out. You just want to cut those little slits so this becomes a flap. Okay, so you're going to trace the whole thing. Fold this up. Make that little line on either side. Fold it back down and then continue tracing all around it. And once you've traced it, then you can cut it out. If you have brown construction paper, then that's essentially the same thing you're gonna do with that. So now, with this, since it's totally symmetrical, I can actually use this fold. So, there's no writing on this side. So if I place this right here, Does it fit? Oh, it may be too big. No, it should fit. It should fit. Okay. So I'm going to place the fold right here on my bag. And you could even do the same thing on your construction paper. If you fold your construction paper in half. Take my pencil. And trace this. So now I'm going to cut this out. If you're not using a paper grocery bag, you don't need to cut it out yet. You can just trace it. So, step two is to think about the symbols you want to put on your canoe. Now, I kind of like that I cut it out because that way I can notice which direction my symbols need to go in. So since I'm going to be folding it in half, I'm going to actually fold it so that my pencil marks are now on the back. 
And then I know that I want the designs to be upward where this curve is. So this is the top and this is the bottom of the canoe. So if it's open, it's going to look like this. Okay. So, oh, I wonder if I was supposed to cut that line. I may have to retrace the model and cut out that little spot. Okay, we'll see. So this is the direction it's going to go in. So I wanted to skip ahead to step two and look at what that canoe looked like just to get an idea. And it looks like you are supposed to cut this part out. So here, okay. The short curved lines, but oh, but that's the flap. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to cut up to here and stop. And then over here. And that's going to make the flap. Okay. Here we go. Here's the flaps. Take that off. So then, now that it's cut, we're going to be folding the flaps on each end upward. Okay, so it's going to end up being... But like that. Okay, cool. And it kind of pops it out. Check that out. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but okay, cool. All right. So, this is what it looks like. So, sorry that I folded it, but this is what it's supposed to look like. So, we just cut out the outside edge and then these flaps. So, if you were doing it this way, cut out the whole thing, and then cut along each of these lines. Okay, so that it looks like this. Then when you fold it in half, you'll be going like this. So you'll be put it, pulling this up and taping this up here. Make it look 3D. Cool, all right, so let me get back to my ground paper. So now, this is the bottom, so now I need to add my designs. Hi boys and girls. Okay, I'm not really sure where I left off with you, but I had to fix the brightness because it looked like nothing was showing up at all on the camera. It was like so, so bright, you couldn't see anything. So, so to create the designs, it does show you some different animals you can outline and you can think of your own, okay? But I just tried to copy some of the style from the example in the second um, PDF. So if you go to the lesson, the part two lesson, and you actually print out both of these, or you look at both of these when you're doing the project, I think it's going to help you with part one even. So I have my designs on it, and what I did is I folded it in half, did my designs on one side, then I flipped it over and did it on the other side. Make sure that you're doing it with the curve at the top, and like these little things at the top, and the folded line is the bottom of the canoe. So any designs you want upright need to go on this side. So you can see my little flamingo wouldn't look right if it was upside down. So now I have my designs drawn on here. If you did yours flat and you didn't cut it out, you don't have to. You can just make sure you do it going outward so that the side is really the top. And then flip it over and this is the top. So this is how you, you want it to be for part one. Now we're gonna go into part two. Okay, so it wants me to trace over the symbols and line decorations I drew using tan or peach crayons. So, let me see what's a good, here's a nice peach. You know what I'm gonna do is take this as a little scrap to sample the color on to see if it shows up. I know you guys can't see that, I can barely see that. So that's probably a little bit too dark and that stinks because it's one of my brightest. But sometimes 
sometimes actually the consistency of the crayon changes based on its color so sometimes you might have a good one that's like the same color but it comes out differently I'll show you in a sec like that right like how is this that much different than this but this came out so much brighter so you want to kind of check them first to see what stands out so now I can take this what is it called peach crayon press hard as you trace so the color stands out from the darker background it doesn't say to color it in it just says to trace the symbols so that's what I'm gonna do All right, so this is my finished outlined design. You guys can see a little closer. Okay, so you can see it's outlined, it's not colored in. Um, I did break my crayon, even though it says not to press so hard that you break the crayon, I just felt like I needed to in order for it to work. So unfortunately, I broke my crayon. Um, so now it says add short lines to your model to show it is made of birch bark and it shows you a little picture of that pattern. So I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm just going to make a couple of those little squiggly oh, that came out weird, lines. All right, now it says to cut it out. So I already did that in advance. Oops, I didn't follow the directions exactly, but if you didn't cut it out yet, go ahead and cut yours out. And then it says make sure to cut around the outside edge of the canoe and along the short curved lines. So that's this. Okay, hopefully you guys already did that. Turn the model over to the back, the side without symbols. Here it says, draw some wooden boards. I don't have the art, board, art book, unfortunately, um, but I can see an example of it at the end of the PDF for part two. So what I think that's gonna look like is straight lines like this together, two, close together. Oops, that should be straighter. And then a space and then two straight lines together and then a space now it says to fold it in half which I already had done before it says notice that each end of the canoe has a flap at the bottom that's this piece right here so it says tape at the ends together along the top half. So I have this packing tape that I'm gonna use. Unfortunately, it's really shiny, but okay. Tape at the ends together along the top half. My tape is too big. Let me cut it in, in the little pieces. Tape along the top half. I'm gonna line it up so that the corners match. Right, that's not lined up, that's lined up like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna line up my tape at the top, kind of put it like halfway over one side and then fold it over the other side. And then press it together. Tape at the ends together along the top half, not along the flap at the bottom. And I'm going to do both sides. So I'm just going to flip it around and do it again in the same place. So I put it on one half of the tape on and then just fold it around the back and then pinch it all the way up and down, press it together. So now it's taped. So now it says, Carefully fold the flaps on each end 
upward alongside, oh, along the outside of the model. So like this. So this actually kind of pops out the canoe and makes it a little more 3D. See that inside? So it actually makes it a little bit more 3D. It like makes it um, kind of wider. So then it says tape them in place. So let me see. If I do one side. I would even maybe recommend gluing them, but taping seems to be okay too. Okay, pinched it down. And I'm also gonna trim this little corner off. Okay, that's cool. So see how that makes it kind of flat there? Right, we're going to take it all the way down to the other end and we get one more piece of tape. And then I'm going to push this up. It's going to pop the bottom out. And then I'm going to tape this in place. So just like I did on the other side. What? I kind of want to create this. I'm just gonna pinch my tape together and then I'm gonna trim off the extra on the side here. So I was able to use just one easy piece. Okay. So this is my finished canoe so far. So now there's actually some more steps. But don't you think that is so cool? Look how cool that is. It popped it out so it's like flat all of a sudden right in the corners. I love that. So okay, so there's some more steps we need to follow. Okay, so I think these are pretty easy to understand in the directions. So I wanted to speed this up so this wasn't a super, super, super long video because I know it's already very long. So you're just going to cut some little rectangle strips bend the ends of them and then you're going to use the ends as almost like a little tab so you can tape them to the sides of the boat. So I taped, taped mine on the inside. You could tape yours on the inside or the outside. Um, and you just tape them down so that you make these little benches to sit on. And then you take another scrap and you're going to draw some oars, like paddles, cut those out, and then you can tape them in your boat as well. So they don't have to be taped down, but it's an option just in, if you want to keep things all together. Cool. You guys like that? So, let me move my mess. So this is my finished canoe. So I hope this helps you guys with your project. I know sometimes when you're just reading the directions, it can be a little bit difficult to visualize what you're supposed to be doing and how things work. So I wanted to just make this for you so you could see it first and then when you go in to do it on your own, you know a little bit more about how to do it and you can be more relaxed, be more creative and have fun doing it. Hope you guys have a great time making your awesome canoes and you can upload them to Art Sonia. Um, and I will make a folder just for this project too.